What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to turn on developer mode, how to allow ADB debugging, and how to connect your headset to your PC that way you can access it on SideQuest. This is gonna be a very brief video, so if it does help you out, a like would be greatly appreciated as it'll allow more people to see the video. With that being said, let's hop straight into it. For starters, you have to create an organization with Oculus. This is a strange process and an annoying process as they change it constantly, making it harder for just everyday people who aren't actually developers to create an organization because it really is only for developers. Currently, the best way to reach this site is by clicking the link down in the description. However, this site may change. So if you are having issues, just always look up Oculus Create an Organization and you should find something along these lines which you can go to in order to create your organization. Once on this site, you want to click on the little person up in the top right and log in. You can log in with your Oculus developer account or Facebook. I recommend just logging in with your Facebook. Once you are logged in, click on create an organization. This will take you to the steps on how to create an organization. If at any point during this video you are struggling, you can go to this list and hopefully it will help you out. Click that first link there under step one to take you to the create an organization page. Once you've clicked on that, make sure you are still logged in by checking the bottom left. If you are, you can then create a name for your organization. Once you've done that, check the I understand box and then click submit. An NDA will appear, scroll to the bottom and then click confirm. And it's as easy as that, you should have been able to create a brand new organization. Once you have an organization under the same account as the account you use with your headsets, you should now be able to turn on developer mode within your Oculus app. Turning on developer mode is very easy. Just open up the Oculus app on your phone, head into your devices, and then click on the device you want to turn developer mode on for. Click on developer mode and then toggle the little switch to being on. Once you have completed these steps, you should be able to connect your headset up to your PC and to SideQuest. So with that being said, plug your headset into your PC, put your headset on, and then click the two prompts that pop up. The first one should say allow access, click allow access on that, and the second one should ask you if you want to enable ADB debugging, and then click allow on that as well. If neither of the prompts show up, your cord may not transfer data or it may not be plugged in properly. If that is the case, try restarting your PC and your headset, unplug the cable and replug in the cable, or you may need to find a cord that transfers data instead of just power. If allow access pops up but allow ADB debugging does not, what you may need to do is go into your headset, go into settings, go under developer, and then click on USB connection dialog. Once you've toggled that on, you may need to restart your headset but the pop-up should appear. If the pop-up is still not appearing for ADB debugging, what you may have to do is update your ADB drivers on your PC. You can do this by searching for ADB drivers for the Quest 2 into Google. There are other tutorials out there for updating drivers, so for the simplicity of this video, I will not be getting into it. If everything went according to plan, you should be able to click allow access to both of those pop-ups. That will allow you to connect your headset to your PC with an ADB dialog, which will allow you to do things on SideQuest with your headset. I hope something in this video helped you out, and I hope you can find some cool things on SideQuest that you want to sideload. With that being said, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye!